Hi, my name is Mark Joseph and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And here are five benefits to family law mediation. So, for those who don't know, mediation is the formal process in which two parties of a pending or active case will meet with a unbiased third party who's typically certified in mediation to help resolve their issues. In the state of Florida, if you have a family law matter, which consists of divorce, paternity, child support, or things in that realm, you will likely be required to go to mediation. However, what people don't know is that there are times where you can go to mediation even before starting the family case. To be honest, 95% of cases or so settle in mediation. So given that if you're in a family law matter, you're likely to go to mediation, I think knowing these five benefits will help you. But before we jump in, please feel free to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated on when we post new videos. So, one of the benefits of mediation is that it's faster. Faster to what you ask, faster to going through the full process of court litigation and trial. As anybody who's been through any legal matter, but especially a family law matter, can tell you, the legal process is slow. And whether or not it's by design is a different conversation. But at the end of the day, when you compare the process of filing pleadings, responding to them, getting scheduled on the court's calendar, or reserving time to do something as long as a trial, mediation just beats all of it. Not only can you do mediation before you even start the litigation process, you can do mediation at pretty much all of the litigation process up to trial. Now, obviously there's gonna be certain things you may need to know before you can officially go to mediation, such as the respective position of the other party, maybe get some discovery of financials involved in your case, or just get an idea of what the other side wants in terms of time sharing, parental decision making, equitable distribution, or even alimony. However, once you know all these things, you can pretty much go to mediation. Overall, getting your case resolved through mediation is always a faster process than going through trial. The second benefit of mediation in a family law matter is that it's just cheaper. As I always mention, I am a family law attorney. And any contested case is normally at a retainer based on an hourly rate. Whether you have an attorney or not, actively litigating a family law matter gets expensive. Even if you're on your own, you still possibly have to hire a court reporter, you may have to get transcripts on cases, and there's always just necessary cost that comes with a case, whether it be creating evidence, duplicating it, getting a presentation for a trial. And then once you put in consideration of a lawyer, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars if you take a case from day one of filing to a trial. Mediation can cut all of that. Whether you have an attorney or not, whatever costs you would have spent by taking a case from wherever it is to mediation would be two, three, four, even five times more if you take that same case at the same start point to trial. Overall, mediation just works a lot better for people when it comes financially because a lot of the things that you typically would argue about in litigation, you wouldn't argue about as much if you're going towards mediation, especially if you think about things like temporary agreements or temporary child support or alimony even. Because if your goal is to get the case resolved in mediation, you're more inclined to focus on just getting some of these matters resolved amongst yourself to get to the point of mediation. In my experience, when you compare it to when cases are going to head to trial, you run into a lot of issues because once you kind of start fighting, you tend to keep fighting. So when you approach a case with the spirit of litigation, 
it tends to just continue on and it just is always more expensive. Now, I want to premise this by saying there's just some cases that unfortunately have to be litigated. However, for the cases in which mediation can occur, I always say it's going to be the cheaper option. A third benefit to mediations in a family law case is that you have control over the outcome. I understand family law can be stressful. I understand fighting over children, fighting over money, fighting over just what your life's going to look like after you break up with someone is stressful and there's a lot of emotion involved. However, you do not want to have the judge be the decision maker. Again, some cases you just need to go to trial and the judge has to decide, but you do not want that to be your first option. Just as much as you feel as confident that you're going to get your day in court and win, you can lose. With mediation, you can at least have some control over the overall result. Yeah, you're going to have to possibly give up some things, but then you get some other things. I mean, that's the whole spirit of negotiation and resolution. However, a judge doesn't have to do that. And as much as you think you're right, the judge may just disagree with you. Another point I want to make in regards to this is family law has some of the most discretionary consideration when it comes to judges. So a lot of issues in family law isn't just, well, this is the law and that's it. Some of those decisions to include time sharing, any child support deviations, whether things are in the best interest of the child or children, actually comes down to a judge approving it. So as much as you think it's better that your child spends 80, 90% of the time with you versus the other parent, the court may disagree with you completely and give 50% to the other parent, or honestly, even more to that other parent than to you. These aren't decisions you want to leave in a judge's hand. That brings me to my fourth benefit of mediation. It's just less stressful. When you take into consideration the first three reasons I gave you, the fact that it's faster, the fact that it's cheaper, and you have control over the outcome, all that just pretty much goes to stress. You sitting, dealing with a family case for a year, year and a half, waiting for a trial date that may get continued over and over again is stressful. Dealing with the growing and mounting cost of litigation fees to include attorneys, experts, again, getting ready for trial, that gets stressful. And then quite frankly, the uncertainty of knowing what's going to happen versus something else. Basically having your family's lives, your life being held in limbo until you really figure out what's going to happen by a judge's decision is stressful. Mediation, at least an honest attempt at mediation, can help limit some or all of this stress. And the fifth reason that we're going to discuss here today that mediation is beneficial is the fact that it's better for the family. Aside from all the other culminations of reasons, all this leads into it benefits your family. At the end of the day, even if you don't have children, you yourself and your family benefits from this. Because at the end of the day, a family law case can be a long, drawn out, expensive affair. And if you're someone that wants to move on and continue that next step of your life past this, taking it all the way in front of a judge, unless absolutely necessary, just isn't going to work. Mediation is something that's put in place to allow for what is called alternative dispute resolution. It's to give families opportunities outside of getting in front of a judge to resolve and move on. This is something I'm a firm believer in taking advantage of. So, those are five benefits to family law mediation. Now, 
I understand a lot of this video is more focused on the resolution and the emotional softer side. However, there is another side. So for those who are interested, give me a comment, like, you know, send us some messages. Let us know if you're interested on knowing about the five benefits of trial. You know, I know I beat up on trial a little bit in this video, but there are benefits. So if you are interested in hearing about that, let us know. And if you or someone you know is dealing with a family law matter, please feel free to contact our office and we'll set you for a consultation. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching.